Welcome to Despot's Gaian. This is a roguelike auto-battler where you have to assemble an army of humans and make them fight to the death against all sorts of monstrous creatures and I think other humans as well. Apparently it's possible to fight other players' armies in this game too, or it is possible to encounter them in the game at some point. So I guess there is also like an asynchronous multiplayer component to this game too, but I'm not entirely sure about that. You can equip your units with various weapons, of course, and some of the weapons in this game are admittedly a little bit silly. You can equip your humans with all sorts of bizarre things like refrigerators that act as shields, uh, pretzels that can be used as projectiles, uh, they're stale pretzels, mind you just to add insult to injury. <laughs> and I think it's also possible to dress up some of your units as Sailor Moon in this game. I'm pretty sure I saw that in the trailer for this game on Steam. <laughs> I don't exactly know what that outfit allows you to do though, but I am curious to try it out. So this is a game that I had been looking at for a little while now actually. This game came out in Early Access back in October of 2021, and at the time of this recording, it is still in Early Access. However, the official release date for the game was announced not too long ago. I believe the full version of this game will be coming out sometime in September. I think September 15th, to be exact. It was developed by Confa Games and is set to be published by Tiny Build. And this game is supposed to be a follow-up to Confa's previous commercial game, Despotism 3K. Despotism 3K was more of a resource management game than an auto-battler, though but it still had roguelike elements in it, like permadeath. I wanted to play this game today mostly because I wanted to try and play another auto-battler on the channel for a while now, because I think the last one I played on the channel was Super Auto Pets, if I remember correctly. But that was almost a year ago now. I have no idea how that happened exactly. And not only that, but this game does also kind of remind me in a way of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, where you can effectively, like, make your own army and you can place down units wherever you want. And the units that you're fighting against are actually blue, and your own units are pink. So the color scheme is definitely similar to Tabs as well, because the armies in Tabs are blue and red, which is not quite the same, but it's close enough. But this game does have significantly more roguelike elements than Tabs as well, because, again, there is permadeath, and I do believe your units die permanently if they do get destroyed in battle. Not only that, but this is not a 3D game with flat-shaded polygons like Tabs is. This is actually a 2D pixel art game that pretty much has the same art style as Despotism 3K. And as far as I know, this also takes place in the same universe as that game. The game normally costs about $15 in early access. I don't know if the price is going to increase when it does leave early access next month, but for the time being, I wanted to try it out here. I didn't really want to wait until uh, the official launch of the game, because that is what I was originally going to do, but I really just wanted to record this game now, so I'm going to do just that. The game does have a pretty good user score on Steam as well, though. I think the user score is 86% out of 1,500 reviewers, which is definitely not as good as Tabs, but it still seems decent. So that being said, I guess we'll just begin here. New game, Brawl, King of the Hill, I might maybe check out those modes later on, like near the end of the video. Let's go to new game for now and see what we're up against. Normal mode, mortal cashback, easy lose three times. Oh, easy mode is actually locked right now. Okay, interesting. So we lose three times to unlock easy. Hard defeat the final boss. Hunger games, process 50 humans into food. What the frick is that? Mutagens, 50 random mutations. Press reroll 200 times. Okay, I'm guessing that's for, like, items, probably. Brawl complete four levels. Oh, wait, Brawl is not actually unlocked? Or is that, uh... Is th or is this just, like, a different game mode for the default game? I don't exactly know. I'm not quite sure what the discrepancy is here, but... I guess we can only play normal right now. Cannon fodder have three cultists equipped with different items on your team. Sports people, eggheads... Mages, fencers, five mages, four throw. What the frick is all of this? Okay, yeah, we have like a lot of different uh, special modes here, it seems. Well, I can only go with normal and classic right now, so just a sword. Plus 40, plus 10% for each level. 
There's an asterisk around that, though. The asterisk must mean something. Crossbow, tower shield... Okay, let, let's just get into the game here and see what we're up against. I guess these are supposed to be our starting units. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Finally, after many a failed attempt, we managed to summon you, so now there's a chance at least. You are the chosen one. Only you can save this doomed world. <laughs> lol. Gets me every time. In truth, you're just one more puny human about to perish in my dungeon's tunnels. If you make it through to the end, there's a surprise waiting for you. I doubt you will, but still. Proceed to the next room, and I will proceed to give you remote instructions. Click on doors to move between rooms. Sounds simple enough, eh? Yeah, so because this is also a roguelike, all of the rooms in this game are procedurally generated, so no two playthroughs are the same every single time. So, let's look at my units here. Uh, wait, can I actually tell them to go somewhere? I'm not quite sure. Okay, Jane the Stalwart. Victoria of Rivia, Natasha Croft, and Danny. <laughs> He's just called Danny, apparently. He doesn't even have a last name. Okay, they all seem to have their own unique health bars as well. Yeah, and their, their attack, like 35 attack, 60 attack, 70. This guy only has 20. Okay, we have fluid. One human consumes one unit of fluid. Don't forget to feed your team. Hungry humans are bad fighters. All right, number of humans on my team. 10 tokens used to buy items and more puny humans receive for victories in battle. Okay, newbies, tanks... Oh god, to activate this ability, you need two more humans of this class with a different item. Humans receive the taunt ability, 3, 4, 5 with different items required for new ability levels. Humans receive critical hit ability... Okay, I guess I need up to two of them. Yeah, it actually does tell me here. And then there's shooters, humans receive the attack speed aura ability. Okay, so I just need, like, more humans of the same, uh, the same class, basically, to activate that. Mutations? The mutations your humans already have, which is frugal, apparently. As you play, you'll collect more. Remember to visit this page and read what they do. The mutations you can buy for tokens? Invest in mutations. Invest in a steady future. Wait, I can actually buy some of these right now, though. Thrill Addiction? Restocking the shop is one token cheaper. Mana bonus, 40 plus to mana. Attack speed bonus, all humans receive 20 plus to attack speed. Health multiplier, all humans receive 50% to health. Okay, well let's let's not let's not screw around with all that stuff just for now, okay? I want to try and go to uh, the next room here. So open this room up. There we go. Okay, what what's in here exactly? <laughs> Hooray, a fight. To prepare for it, choose a good arrangement for your puny humans. Select one, then click the right mouse button on a free tile within your placement range. Okay, so, uh, well, I mean, how about, okay, well, actually, the, the fight happens automatically when you're ready, press fight. It's the big button in the bottom right corner in case you missed that. Okay, wait a second. I didn't want to move Danny back there. I want you to, to maybe go this way. Uh, no, I didn't want to swap positions, but it does seem like that is something I can do. Okay, wait a second. I need to choose... choose Natasha here. There we go. I, I don't know if this is a good, uh... If this is a good formation. I'm guessing this guy is basically like the peasants from Tabs, where they just have no weapons at all. <laughs> I don't exactly know how this is gonna go, but it seems like we're only battling one person here, so... Start the battle. I can also press the F key to do that as well, apparently. Uh, yeah, they just- they just attack automatically, it seems, so I don't need to put any input at all. Okay. I mean, it's just like tabs, basically. If you don't want to meet a boring death in the very first room and would rather try a more devious one deeper down, you'll need weapons. The shop is in front of you. Chewers. Okay, I did actually already get more tokens from that. Okay, so, yeah, I'm using up food as well. So I can get one puny human? Oh, for two tokens. Buy as many as you want. They're pathetic anyway. Okay, I can re-roll for tokens as well. Um, crossbow, card full of secrets. I don't exactly know what that implies, but that sounds intriguing. Can I get the card full of secrets? I don't know what that is. To equip the item, hold left mouse button and drag it onto a human. Next time, you can drag it directly from the shop. I mean, can we at least give Danny something to use here? Because, I mean, he has literally nothing on him. Okay, he has a suit and glasses all of a sudden. Alrighty then, looking a little bit more, uh, spiffing and stylish than some of the other people here. I mean, at least he's actually dressed. Good lord. Buy more items and a couple of new humans, too. There's no reason to hold onto your tokens. Then click the green door and move on. I guess we'll get more humans, because, I mean, yeah, I guess it's only two, right? 
It's just two. Two tokens to get another human. Okay, so can I... Okay, I can still move you around. I press the right mouse button on each... On whatever tile to move you. Okay. Fine, you know what? In that case, I'll give you, uh... Maybe I'll give you a sword as well. Sure. Just so you get equipped with something, too. Nick Skywalker. Okay, the descendant of Luke Skywalker, I'm assuming. Oh, this guy actually has a, a last name now. His full name is Danny Cooper. Okay, I guess it only shows you their last name when you actually give them an item. Um, I mean, we can... Do we want more humans right now? I think I should save up on my tokens, actually. So, let's go to... I think this is the next room right here, right? I think so. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, what, what be in here? A big enemy? Okay, let's see here. I do not know what this card of secrets is, but maybe... Okay, wait, no, I want to swap you around. Yes. Or should I... Maybe put you out in front? Hang on a second, let me, let me try and think about this here. Actually, swap you guys. Okay, wait, I keep forgetting to choose the correct units here. Hang on a second. Swap you. There we go. Yeah, let's just let's just try that out, I guess. I don't know how exactly that's going to that's going to work out for us, but uh we're fighting a garbage can with tentacles. Oh, okay. The All right, well, he's already dead. Holy frick, dude. But uh it seems like it just fires electricity. Yeah, whatever item that I gave Danny Cooper here, the card full of secrets. Yeah, it seems like it just fires electricity at enemies. Okay. Hungering Fury? When hungry or starving, all units receive 40 to 60% attack speed. That sounds good. Is that a free item that I can just get now? I guess it is. Oh, okay, I guess that's one of our mutations, right? One of our mutations? It's, yeah, it does seem like it. I mean, can I actually get this health multiplier now? Okay, yeah, it does actually allow me to get it now. I mean, might as well just get them more health now. Just because I have the tokens to? May as well. Okay, there's two directions that we can go. Do we want to keep going to the left? Actually, actually, no. Uh, go up in order to get to a food place, I think. Because it has the, the same icon. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no. Is this where... Sacrificial pit. Throw a human here to receive poor food. Oh, that's what this is. Well, I saw this in a previous room as well, but, uh... Okay, I don't think we need to do that right now. There's a little robot right here. Yeah, just kill the robot. There we go. Yeah, this is a food shop, actually. Yummy burger. Buy seven food for two tokens. And french fries. Buy eleven food for three. Is this a greater value? Maybe? Get some french fries? Yeah, get some a lot of... Get some a lot of, uh... A lot of stuff. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we can... I guess we can get some additional food for now. Uh, for just two tokens? I mean, we already have a lot of food. So maybe we shouldn't waste our money. No, I don't think we should. I don't think we actually should. I think we're gonna... We're just gonna continue on. I think we're good on the food for now. There we go. I mean, does the food not, uh... Not replenish their, their health at all? Maybe it doesn't. A unit's health, if it reaches zero, you've got a corpse instead of a unit. I mean, that makes sense to me. Okay, just fighting little little robots here right now, but... Hopefully we'll be able to fight some, uh, some, some better units later. Like some more powerful units, I mean. Okay, that's a tower shield, but somebody already has a tower shield. Wait, a charmed ring? Plus 80 attack? Rocky's gloves? And more humans. Humans received the Thunderbolt ability. Humans received the Linked ability. Okay, fighters? I mean, Charmed Ring? Could I just buy that for now? I don't exactly know who I would want to give that to. And I guess I could also get Rocky's Gloves as well. Maybe just hang on to those for now. Actually, maybe we can get another human over here. And maybe give him something? Do I want to turn him into a mage? I mean, is that gonna- is that gonna give him some attack? Harry Elric. I don't know, maybe that'll give him additional attack, and maybe we can get another, uh, another unit here as well. Hang on, just bring him over here. And give him some- some gloves. These are- these are the gloves worn by Rocky himself in the movies, apparently. <laughs> Nikolay Tyson. Related to Mike Tyson by any chance? Okay, anyway, let's just, uh... Let's just keep it going here. I think this is the only other room that we can actually enter right now. Like, the only other room that's in this, uh, in this particular stage, I think. Okay, where- how exactly do I wanna- do I wanna orient you boys? 
and girls and and bees or whatever. I don't because I don't freaking know if you even have genders. You all just seem like giant pink blobs to me. So, oh yeah, this guy is straight up floating off the ground. Okay, well I'll see. We'll we'll see what you can do. We'll see what you guys can do. That's a big robot. Oh yeah, he's straight up a mage. He is straight up a mage. He's just firing some some uh yeah some magical balls at him. Magical energy balls. Achievement unlocked, good start. You beat the first boss, what an incredible achievement. As a reward, I'm giving you a new button. See, there aren't many buttons in my game, and you need more. Archive newbies creates three newbies on free tiles. Held two. Returns you to the start of the current level, triggers automatically on a loss, will not work on the floor where it was obtained. I mean, making more units, or possibly restarting if I end up, uh, freaking up one of the levels? I don't know if this is just a one-time use, though. I don't know. Let me try to get this instead. It seems like it only allows us- it only allows me to choose one anyway. Okay. I don't believe that there's any other rooms on this floor, though. So I think... I think we might be okay for now. To, to just go down to the next floor, so frick it. Go through the pipes. Go through the pipes and let's continue going. Uh, a giant- what? A giant spider? Ah! Run or kill it with fire! I mean, I don't really like killing spiders, so can we just run? The humans have successfully ex escaped from grave danger. But unfortunately, I can't read to save my life, so that's still a problem. Okay then, well, it seems like there's random events that can occur here too. What is this? Rabbit in a hat? Plus 130. Goodness. Okay, that's that's a big increase in, in attack. Cart another card full of secrets. I don't think I want that. Um, Dark Mantle. I have no idea what that is. But perhaps we get another human and just try it out? Yeah, let's just try it out. I'm not going to have enough to get the hat anyway, so let's just take this. Turn you into a, in, into a, a shadow mage, I guess. Kira Hentai. Your last name is Hentai. What kind of... What kind of family do you come from, exactly? <laughs> Excuse me? Alright, well that is... that is quite weird indeed. I mean, I don't know, do I just want to blow the rest of my tokens on, on another... on another unit? Maybe just get one more unit and just have him be, uh, completely naked for now? Pavel? Maybe we'll just keep Pavel on our team for now and we'll try to get something for him later. Uh, I guess we just keep going? God, who do we have? Cultus? Call of Cthulhu? Thunderbolt. Okay, actually, we did see those already. Oh, wait, no, we didn't see Buff Tower. Eggheads? Buff Tower? Wait, who's who's an egghead on my team, exactly? I have so many different unit classes here that I'm already using, but I'm just, uh, I'm just rolling with the punches for now, because I don't really know what any of these do, honestly. I have no freaking idea what any of these do. Okay, I should have... Br bring you over here, first and foremost. Maybe swap you around? Or do I want to put you in the... I, I, I don't know, maybe... I mean, you're a long-range shot, so maybe I could put you in the back for now? We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens with you. And see if Pavel can, can get some damage done in here. I don't know, let's see how he can perform. Oh, we're actually fighting other Shadow Mages. Okay. Oh, one of my guys actually died. Oh, some of them are actually dying here. Uh oh Okay, wait a second. Time for you to learn class combos. See that Harkabus? You don't have one like that. Buy it. Okay. The Harkabus. I'll buy it then. Give the Harkabus to an itemless human. Okay, I'll give it to, to Pavel. Wait, actually... Okay, no. Pavel's right here. What am I doing? There's now a blue dot next to the shooter's class icon. It indicates that you've granted them a class ability level. The numbers 2 out of 3 indicate that you have two different humans in the shooter's class and you need three humans with different items to unlock the next ability level. Ability level only increases when you collect different items of the same class. Why? Because. Now, shoo. <laughs> okay, well, I, under I, I do understand, so, like, get, get different guns, basically. Even if they are, like, different- even if they are, like, actually different guns, then they'll still count towards this number? I mean, it makes sense to me. It definitely makes sense to me. God, the Nano Lance? What even is that? Let me get, let me get it. I, I kinda wanna- I kinda want it, cause I- I wanna see what it actually is. I have no clue what this item is. Give it to whoever- who's this per- oh, it's a giant spear. Okay, Gomez Martel. Okay. Well, I think my- oh, my- all of my swords people died, actually. Okay, well then you're gonna- you're gonna get the spear, then. You're getting the spear. 
Maybe get another human on here as well. And just, uh... Maybe... Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna maybe swap him out with, uh... I don't know. The, the gun guy right here? Oh, Pavel Headshot. Very appropriate name, now that you have a gun. That's a very appropriate last name to have now. Okay, let's let's go through here. Let's go through here. Okay, we can sacrifice a human in order to get some fluid. It does see him. This appears to be another one of those rooms. I mean... Well, I don't know. We are kind of running out of, of food already. This gives us four food, right? Yeah, so I guess, I guess if you don't have, uh... I guess if you have more units on your TM, that's not necessarily a good thing, because they consume even more food than usual. Oh, we have two units that are named Kira here. Okay, well... Or a 15% attack speed. I should maybe try and, uh, spend some of my tokens on the mutations as well. Maybe I should actually try and go and get some of those. But then again, I do have Hungering Fury as well, which is increasing my attack speed whenever I'm hungry. So... Huh, I don't- I don't really know. How about you guys... Maybe move you up like one tile, just considering... Yeah, this, these two guys right here are, are spawning a little bit further up. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Oh, okay, that's sword people. Okay, well, I, one of them- one of them died already. Okay, never mind, all of them died. Did any of my units die? I don't think so. No, they're all still alive, actually. Okay, this is a food shop. 37 food for 9 token? I mean... I only have 10 anyway. Yeah, you know what? I kind of... I, I kind of need more. I do kind of need more. I'm getting the sweet roll. Whatever. There we go. I'll just... I'll just spend it on more food just for now. I mean, just considering my team is starting to get a little bit larger here... And I mean, I don't know. I may need to sacrifice them at some point in case the, the situation does get dire. And convert them into food? It is a little bit gruesome. But, uh... We'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, space them out like this. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know, maybe maybe swap you out with the with the mage here. Put the mage a little bit uh, further out in front. I don't know if that's gonna make any, uh, make any difference. Wait, we have linked now? Yeah, 30, 50, 80% of damage received is then spread among the units. Okay, wait, so does that mean, uh, cost 20 mana? Okay, you need two more units of this class with different... Okay, well, that's, that's not even triggering right now anyway. Okay, well, just freak it then. More- more shadow mages? Okay, one of them just got stabbed to death, like, immediately. Goodness, okay. Yeah, my shield bearer's about to freaking die here, but... Let's see, what is this football? Uh, it's a heavy ball. That's very descriptive. Uh, humans received the bomb ability. Oh my god, there's so many different abilities here. Okay, well... It's a throwable item. Yeah, throwers. Can I put down a human that can actually throw, like, projectiles? Maybe, maybe we can try that out. We could try it out. We'll just see here. Oh, well, actually, I could have also given this to... Okay, yeah, just turn him into a, into a football player. I could have also given this to Kira, though. I just realized that I could have given that to Kira. Oh, I can also upgrade the shop as well with tokens. Okay, well, maybe give me some better items, like level, level 2? What is this? A periodic table? Is this also meant to be, like, a shield of some sort? I guess so. The sucker gun? Alright, well, I don't have any more tokens, uh, left over to be able to get any of that, so... Let's go in here. Go to the left. I don't really know what any of these symbols mean, but let, let's see here. Press tab to zoom? Like, what is this, uh... Yeah, I don't- I don't exactly know what this symbol means at all, actually. Let's try throwing some projectiles at people and see what happens. I don't like the guy who has... Who looks like a water cooler. He has a water cooler for a head. Oh, never mind, he's dead already. And actually, I don't think any of my units died. This is a teleporter room. Hold tab and select another teleporter room to move there. Oh, I see. I don't think- I don't think I found another one yet, though. But, okay. Now you can see a larger level map. Teleporter rooms are marked with, like, blue thingies. I think they're- most people call them arrows, but alright. Yeah. You can blink from one teleporter room to another, just point at your destination and press the left mouse button. That's it. You don't have to teleport right now. I mean, I don't think I can. But, okay. Uh, mutation. Ooh, pe wait, penetrating shots. Shooters use penetrating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. Okay, that, that sounds like it could be useful. Tricksters heal themselves for 7% of damage dealt. 
Eggheads have a 20% chance to evade enemy attacks. I feel like I would want this. This mutation right here. Penetrating shots. Attack speed bonus. Mana bonus. I don't know, maybe get some attack speed bonus just for now. Maybe I want to try and upgrade that uh, a little bit. Gotta try and upgrade some of my existing mutations here. Yeah, let's just, let's, let's do that for the time being. Let's do that for the time being. I'm kind of wondering if Brawl might possibly be a sandbox mode of some sort. Where you can just create all sorts of units that you want. Wait, what is this? Can't take any more. Okay, well we found Danny's twin brother over here, it seems. Don't you dare. One more push. Ah! Oh, okay, well. Damn it. Another zombie bites the dust. Zombies are known for their durability. What's going on here? Oh no, I get I get to choose the dialogue. Okay, well what is going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery. But the zombie but the zombie part of the machine broke. There's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one, and I'll shower you with gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? To frighten a poor slave into producing power for you? I'll give you 25 tokens. So where'd you say the lab was? <laughs> I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. Okay. Did you actually mark it on my map? I don't know, it's... Oh, okay, it might be this, this thing up here, actually. The other one that has the exclamation mark question mark on it. Okay, then. Well, we'll try to- we'll try to find that for you and bring it back to you. Let's freaking do it. I'm guessing it's on the left side, probably? As in, like, directly behind us, basically? Okay, hang on, let, let, let me move you guys down here. No, 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 no. You move down all the way. I mean, I don't know, do I wanna- do I wanna place you out in front, perhaps? I don't know, I don't know if maybe- if I should really be huddling all these guys together, but, uh... God, I mean, I still need to- I still need to try and get something for Kira here. I'm honestly surprised that she survived for this long so far. Mutation and aura... Oh, she's getting a lot of, uh, attack speed bonuses here, though, it seems. Okay, well, what- what are we up against here? God, more sword fighters? Okay, I think my shield actually died. Oh, wait, I got a buff of some sort for some of my units. There's another food shop. 37 food for 9 tokens again? No, actually, we only have 2 food left, so maybe I actually do. <laughs> Hang on, do I just wanna- do I just wanna stock up on more food for now? Maybe I do. Yeah, my- my shield bearer definitely, uh, succumbed to their injuries, unfortunately. But... I think... Actually, wait, do I have another shield? Oh, I do, actually. Oh, I'm holding on to some other swords as well. I didn't I didn't notice that. So wait, do I actually get the weapons back when my when my units die? Do I actually get them back? I'm still not entirely sure how how this works here, but I'm still a little bit confused by this, but maybe go to the left. What's in here? This is some T-virus in here, perhaps? Uh oh, there's a lot of units here. Okay, hang on. We just we just move them up, up this way. Okay, well, maybe, maybe move one of them over here. Okay, what kind of formation am I making here now? I honestly have no freaking idea. Put my shield bearer out in front? How about I replace you and put, put you guys up there, perhaps? Or put, put, like, my spearman out there. Yeah, his name is Gomez, so I'm assuming he's male. You need one more human of this class with different items to get dodge. Once every 15, 11, 8, and 4 seconds, a trickster evades an attack by backstepping? Again, I'm not sure if we have any tricksters on our team right now. I'm still not fully sure how the classes work. Okay, these are actually zombies. Okay, well, they're all dead. Seems like the T-Virus already escaped. Well, isn't that unfortunate? Do we have to go somewhere else to find it now? Glad no one got infected, except for that guy. Ah, yeah, that's good. Brains. Oops. I guess we better pay the mad scientist another visit. Okay, well, oh, you're not gonna attack? Okay, so wait a second. You have 1,350 HP all of a sudden. Wait, so did turning you into a zombie actually give you a speed? Uh, not a speed boost, but like a health boost of some sort? Wait a second. What is going on right now? I'm very confused. Hang on. Hold up a minute. Okay, yeah, I guess you're a friendly zombie, though, because you're not attacking us. Okay, that's fine. Frick it, I'm wasting the rest of my tokens on- Oh wait, no, I can't waste the rest of my tokens on food, because that was the last french fry. Okay, what? Just get one french fry, then. Maybe I don't want to be wasting my money on that all the time. Probably not. Actually, why did I go in this room? The other room that I was supposed to go in was down, but whatever. We can take care of this room in the meantime. 
Seems like there's only three people here. Do I need to alter my formation at all? Maybe I don't. But I could put these guys out in, in front just a little bit more. There we go. Sp space them like this. Yeah, the U formation? I mean, I don't exactly know if that's gonna make a difference, honestly, because it's just three of these Shadow Mages again, and they're all dead already, so I mean... Oh god, the Elden Charmed Ring, and I have enough tokens for it. I also have enough tokens to upgrade the shop again, though, but... Okay, Yoga Pants? Gives you 450 health, apparently. The Harbicus, another Harbicus. Laws. God, I mean... We, do we take the ring off of this? Off of here? And give it to... This guy right here, perhaps? Well, I don't know if I can take weapons off of... Off of units that I already, uh... That I already gave weapons to. Maybe I can? Uh... I, I, I don't believe I can, actually. Gives them more attack, I guess. Well, this also gives plus 90 attack, plus 30 attack speed, I believe, but more health, 450. Okay, wait a second. This, and also, like, like bring you over here. I mean, I'm just kind of curious to see what the yoga pants look like. This is also a fighter, actually. It turns him into a fighter. So, I mean group you with him. Okay, so wait a second. Bring bring this. Boom. Oh, it turns you into like a kung fu fighter. What is your name? Anastasia Emeline Emel Emelianenko? <laughs> Goodness, why is your last name so freaking long? Okay, well, uh, I mean, we could just try it out for now. We could try it out for the time being. I think that's fine. We'll, we'll just leave for now. We'll leave for now. I kind of want to keep the zombie with me, honestly. I really do. I might just have to just waste this on more burgers. There we go. Go back here. It seems like the, the room on top is, is the boss of level 2. I'm going to go there in a second. There's been an oops. The T-Virus escaped and Kira got infected. Arrgh, infected. Well, that's even better. I can't make her human again, but she's welcome to stay here. The benefits include a daily portion of Rayans. What reward do you prefer? 25 tokens or secret knowledge? I mean, I still get a lot of tokens from fighting other other units at CM, so I don't know. What is the secret knowledge? Your eggheads can now summon buff turrets much faster. Okay, well that sounds useful. Oh, I got an achievement. Knowledge is power. And I did get a mutation, actually. Yeah, fa fast towers. Buff towers are built 500% faster. But do I have any units right now that can actually, like, you know, do that? Do I have any eggheads on my team? Oh, okay, wait, buff towers are built 500% faster. This seems to be affecting Danny Cooper here, though. Is it actually affecting him? I don't know, I guess maybe technically because whatever he has is technically a tower? Like the cart full of secrets? I don't quite know. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here right now, but I guess... I guess we have no choice but to go and uh, battle the boss now. Because I don't believe there's any other room in here. I don't believe so. So let's just go and tackle the boss, probably? Let's just let's just do it. I don't think there's any other rooms here. Oh, it looks like the, the boss has backup. Hang on a minute. Hang on a moment. The boss has brought backup with him, it would appear. So, put, put you over here. God, I'm really struggling to come up with any sort of viable strategy right now. Like, like I'm really not trying to come up with any kind of strategy. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just winging it over here, honestly. Kind of just winging it right now, but I mean, I've survived for this long, so... Well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, do I maybe want to bring you up here so I can, like, uh... Yeah, I, I, I don't know, I can fire some projectiles at him, perhaps? Maybe that could work? It could work a little better, because I don't have my shield bearer anymore, so I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe swap you around, and maybe swap you as well, because I mean, I don't know, do you, do you also launch projectiles too? I think you also fire, like, balls of energy too, don't you? I'm pretty sure. I think you're a mana user. I don't know, we'll, we're, we're gonna see what happens. That is just straight up, uh, Shinobi, and that terrifies the frick out of me, actually. Okay, wait a second, oh god. Oh, he's cutting down my units so fast, though. Oh, never mind, he's already dead. Actually, only one of my units died during that. Literally just one. But all of these guys are about to die with them. Okay, well, at least my Kung Fu Fighter didn't die. 
Actually, these are the only two guys that really suffered a great deal of damage. So, I mean... Well, actually, yeah. I do get my weapons back. Because my crossbow... My crossbow guy died. But I have the crossbow back. Okay. So, what do we want, then, in that case? Archived robot creates an obedient Khalid on a free tile? I don't know what that means. Kills all the enemies in a room. Doesn't work in rooms with bosses. The destroyer. Okay, but is this going to remove the button that I currently have? I would kind of like to see if I can if I can take it with me regardless. Oh, no, it actually doesn't. It just puts it in a different slot. Okay, well, it says that they're both held with the one key, though. So I was just thinking, like, is it going to replace the button I already have? But I guess it doesn't. Okay, well, let me look at my mutations. Restocking the shop is one token cheaper. All units receive plus 40 to mana. I don't know, maybe I can maybe I can try and uh, upgrade that in the meantime. Maybe hold off on getting Thrill Addiction just for now. I'm not really interested in upgrading that, so let's just let's just get out of there. I guess we'll just go to the next stage then. Go go down to level 3. Let's let's freaking do it then. Cube. The humans come across a cube hovering midair. It's crafting a robot from an old Soviet harvester and an even older submarine. An obvious question comes to my end. Who are you? I'm Rosalski's Cube. Be on your way, peasants. Do not interfere with an artist at work. Think you're so cool, huh, Cube? I can make you into a rectangle real quick. Or I guess a rectangular prism, more specifically? Or what are you making? I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see what he's making. A robot for my new painting. I believe that things should be created in real life before they are painted. Drawing from your head is cheating. It's faux art. The only thing worse are killjoys who paint things that already exist. Creating something incredible and transferring it to canvas? Now that's real art! Silently watch the artist work or silently attack the cube, hope it has something useful inside it, maybe? I mean, I, w I just want to see how this unfolds, honestly. You watch the cube create a robot and pose it, all with incredible speed. Then it only takes the cube a couple of minutes to paint it, including the humans in the painting as well. Worth several games. All the humans experience something precious today, specifically 300 experience points precious. Oh, did that actually... Oh, wow, that actually leveled up my units. Okay, I just realized what that buff is. It's not like a speed boost, because that's what I thought it was before. It means my units are getting upgraded, so they're all at level 3 now. Okay, I get it. A card full of toxins. Huh. Hmm. I already got a crossbow, though. So, I mean... Duh. You, 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 you come here. You come here. I don't know, I kinda, well, I, al I already have a spear user, but he's probably gonna, probably gonna die very soon, because he has very little health. I mean, I'm kinda curious as to what this cart full of toxins is. So, I mean, if Danny ends up dying, you could take over for him. I don't know. Leisha Tesla. <laughs> Related to Nikola Tesla, by any chance? Okay, I see, I see, though, but... Every time I create a new unit, they start back at level 1. So that's, uh... It's not exactly good, is it? That means I need to make sure my units do not freaking die. Or at least not die constantly. Okay, well, let's go through here. Let's go through here for now. And see what we're up against. Oh, okay, that's a lot of people, actually. But this is a food shop, though. This is indeed a food shop, so I mean... We'll see how it goes. Maybe... There, put put you guys in the back. Do I want to group you guys together? Possibly? I don't know. Maybe? I'm not going to use the destroyer right now because I want to see how this actually pans out. Maybe uh, actually swap you guys. I don't know. I'm just worried about, about Leisha right here because she's only level 1. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the drones that have saw blades. Okay, that's uh, terrifying. Never mind, it's not terrifying at all because they're dead. I think one of my units died, though. Yeah, guy with toxins didn't die, at least. Actually, my spear thrower's still not dead yet. Oh, the guy with the fighting gloves died. Okay, I just... I, I noticed. Um, yeah, restocking the shop is one token cheaper. I'm not really interested in getting that right now, honestly. You can just get more food for nine tokens. There we go. Just for now. This over here appears to be a teleporter room. Let's just go in it and see see what kind of big baddies we're up against in here. Okay, they're all in a corner. Fine, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to set my units up in the exact same manner. Because I don't give a frick. I don't give a frick at all. Fine, two can play at that game, dude. 
two can play at that game. Well, actually, I don't think there's any reason for Pavel to be so far up over here, because there's no units up there. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Got more drones. Oh, the guy with the with the water cooler for a head? Okay, he's he already exploded, though. Okay, Gomez actually died. Gomez died. The, is is the guy with the spear? Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I mean, he, he basically had no health left anyway, so I'm not really surprised that he ended up dying. On death, all units increase a random ally's health by 100. I mean, that might, that could be useful for sure, considering how much my units are dying now. Each time human's active ability is used, a random enemy takes 50 magic damage. Or remote heal. Healers heal allies from a distance. Uh, I, maybe take final gift for now. I don't know. That could come in handy, just considering how, uh, how much of my units are dying at this point. Cross-functional. Oh yeah, and then shooters and eggheads. Okay, so it seems like most of the mutations I have right now are just cross-functional. I don't exactly know if that is a good thing. Oh, we can view a death log as well. Nikolay Tyson and Gomez Martel. Are those just the units that died on this floor? Maybe it's just for this floor specifically. Alright, well I can't buy any more units right now, so I mean we just have to keep going, man. We just gotta keep going. I'm guessing this might be another shop. Is, is that what this one, that what this logo means? Oh, okay, that's, that is a boss though. That is actually a boss. God, they're so spaced, they're so spaced out as well. So I mean... Okay, let me let me think about this because I only have I only have seven units right now, so I mean, toxin. You know, you guys can just go all the way in the back. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh god, these guys have ten units, including the boss. This might not end well. This might not actually end well. Yeah, I can't give this to any units right now. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I can take a weapon off of one of my units and just uh, send it back. Auto play selected units. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Mostly because I don't actually know what the use for that would be at the moment, but... Yeah, I guess I can't take weapons off of my units as soon as I give them a weapon. It doesn't seem like it allows me to do that. I'm like, left click, right click... It seems like all I can do with the units after that, though, is just move them around on the battlefield here. Okay, well, this seems, uh, very odd, and I can't use Destroyer because there actually is a boss enemy in here, so, uh... Just... Go, my men and my ladies. Okay. Oh, God, that's a guy who also fires balls of energy. He fires big balls at me. Okay, well, actually, wait. Oh, he teleports as well. Oh, frick. Okay, guys, please. Okay, none of you actually died. None of you died. But a lot of you did take quite a bit of damage. I don't know about that. Oh, there's a first aid kit? Well, okay. That means I can probably make a healer. It's only six. So, I mean, hang on a second. Give me another another peasant right here. I can turn him into a healer, I think. Yeah, Dorothy Quack. That's an incredible name. Wait, is this also a healer as well? Plague Mask? Peri okay, this is the shield. Wait a second. A Plague Mask, you say? Hold up a minute. I can turn someone into a Plague Doctor as well. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Hang on. Let me get this. Turn you into a healer as well? Yeah, you're straight up a plague doctor now. But you're still not wearing any pants for some reason, and that kind of disturbs me. <laughs> Victoria Hadley. I'm definitely loving these randomly generated names as well, man. Heal 2 level? Heal 25 to the closest wounded ally, cost 30 mana. And what about Dorothy Quack here? Healing 25? Okay, still doing the same thing. Yeah, it would probably be good if we get some healers. Because, actually, you know what? I already have so many items right now, actually. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to give you the crossbow. Uh, Mikulich 47. Closely related to Agent 47, I'm assuming? I don't freaking know anymore, dude. What are these names? Okay, I'm not really sure if I want to get any more units just for now, just because they're gonna use more... more fluid, And I don't really want to just continuously waste my fluid, so maybe I should just get out of here for now. Oh, they use fluid whenever they move to other rooms. Oh, no. Even when I killed all the enemies in that room, they still use fluid. Oh, God, I don't... 
I don't know if I like that. I did not know that's how this game functioned. If they just go from room to room, they just use fluid over and over. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't really know how I feel about that, actually. But I could go back to this food shop just to get more food for now. I mean, the only reason I'm going back for now is because I don't really want to leave just yet, because I'd like to see what these other rooms contain. So, let me try just try to kill some of the other enemies for now. Indeed. Okay, let's go... Let, let's maybe move you guys back just for now. Do I want to have all my level 3 guys in the front? I mean, actually, my fighter right here is uh, is level 3, Anastasia. Anastasia, how about you go over this way? Yeah, have all my level 1 units be on the same lion. I don't know if that's a good idea at all, but let's just, let's just try it. I'm gonna guess this is probably not gonna be a terribly difficult room because it's just the same drones that we're fighting again. Yeah, not a challenge. Although, admittedly, there are a lot of my level 3 units that have taken a lot of damage here. So... Not entirely sure about that. I didn't get that many tokens from that, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go in this room. I mean, I still haven't gotten to see the Hungering Fury in action yet, so I mean, I should try and maybe, uh... Maybe starve them just to see if they can do even more damage. Or not more damage, but see if they can attack faster, because it goes up to 60% attack speed, apparently. So, I don't know. It could work. We can make something work with that, okay? I would not worry about it. For now, at least. Yeah, this is the line that I'm gonna take. Actually, maybe move you out in front just because you have, uh... Yeah, you have you have more health on you right now. Actually, maybe move you out in front too from this guy. Okay, there we go. Just because you guys are getting a little bit low on health. Oh god, okay, what is this gonna look like? It's just the same drones again. Okay, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Wait, did some guy actually get healed? Oh, some guys are actually getting healed here. Because my- they're just hanging around my, uh, my healers, actually. Okay. Well, that's good, then. You guys just keep healing my, uh, healing my guys, then. Healing my dudes, because they definitely need some healing. Okay? They definitely require some healing right now. Okay? So, just- just stay around them for now. Well, actually- well, okay, well, in that case... Maybe you... You guys could actually maybe stay around my healers, then. Yeah, these guys with the- with the low amounts of health, perhaps. I think so. Might be a viable strategy. Don't exactly know. There's still some guys that are all the way up top here, but it might be okay. It's the same drones again! Why are we just fighting saw blades? They kind of look like the man hacks from Half-Life. That's kind of what they remind me of. They look like the man hacks from Half-Life 2, specifically. Oh, actually, Leisha Tesla leveled up right now, because they're at level 2, I just noticed. Okay, well, that's cool and all. That's definitely cool. God, all humans receive 50% health, but next level is 90%? Or do I want more attack speed? Do I want even more attack speed? Do I just want to upgrade this now? Ah, oh, but I mean, I'm kind of running low on food, though. Nyan? 37 for 9 tokens? I can get it. Is there something else? Well, I can, I can just save up for this, because I mean... I still have 17 tokens. Maybe just buy one burger for now, just to get myself a little bit more health? And then maybe save up just to get, uh, maybe more attack speed. I don't know, just make them attack even quicker. Actually, did someone die? Did someone die in this room? Anna the Kian? I don't remember who that was. But she was a thrower, apparently. Oh, Gomez was a trickster. Okay. Oh, so I guess if I, if I give them a spear, a giant-ass spear, they become a trickster. Okay. I don't know how that works exactly. Yeah, tricksters. Okay, well, either way, just go in this room. Let's see what's in this room, exactly. Just seems like another place where we can sacrifice some people. That's a lot of units. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did I make a bad decision here? Let's, let's, let's find out. Let's find out right now. These guys are still getting healed, at least. I mean, can my healers also attack the enemies? I don't exactly know. Oh, God. Let's just try it out. Try it out. I mean, it's just the guy that fires the, the magic balls again. He, I know he's gonna teleport as soon as we start attacking him, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, but... He's gonna he teleport over that way. Just attack him with bullets. Okay, I guess, I guess he's actually not that hard to take out, and... Actually, my units barely took any damage during that fight. Look how much health they have. Hidden Leaf Shuriken, you say? God, you're actually... You're actually really tempting me with that. Because as much as I want to possibly get more attack speed, or even more mana bonus, I'd also kind of like to see what this weapon is. You know what? 
I'm just gonna see what it is. I'm gonna turn somebody into a ninja here, I believe. He is straight up a ninja now. Oh, best ninja name ever, Buttercup Baggins. <laughs> Related to Bilbo Baggins by any chance? God, how many times have I made that joke in this video? I mean, it sure seems like there's a lot of pop culture references in this game. Uh, does anyone... Do I just want to get another unit and maybe give them a spear for now? Or do I just want to stop wasting food and just go on my merry way for now? I don't know. You know what? I'll upgrade the shop again with the amount of uh, tokens that I have, just because I can. Upgrade shop, nine tokens. Frick it, I'm, I'm doing it again. What is this? A crash cart? Oh, okay, another healer. Oh, you can throw some tuna, at, I guess. Throw some tuna at people. Okay, I do believe my football guy actually died, right? Or football woman, I guess, because her name was Anna. Oh, yeah, she was the one that had the heavy ball. Okay, it's my football player that died. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, okay, that that is useful because you can actually see the exact item that they were holding when they died. But, uh, I didn't get the heavy ball back, though? When Anna died? Huh. I wonder why. Because, I mean, I got all my other items back, so that's kind of strange, but okay. Well, let's go to the... Let's go to the boss then, I guess, because I don't believe that there are any more rooms here. Oh, no, actually, there is another room that we didn't explore yet. I think it's another... I think it's another shop, if I'm not mistaken. But at the same time, I'm also about to starve, so... Well, let's just check this out. Yeah, it is a teleporter room, actually. Okay, so... Or at least I believe it is. Is it a teleporter room? Well, whatever. I want to try out my ninja, my my brand new ninja that I just acquired here. So let's let let's test this this bad boy out. Because I mean, I don't know what their gender is. Their name is literally Buttercup, so I know I don't know. Open to interpretation, I guess. Or they could they could be like literally any gender. <laughs> Does not really matter to me. Oh lord. Uh, is it just gonna be? It's literally the same boss from before. But okay. You guys are just healing my guys, some of the guys that aren't even moving anywhere at all. Yeah, this this dude is actually not that difficult to kill, honestly. He's really not. Okay, well, we have another heavy ball here that we can get. Like, two of them, to be exact. God, I can upgrade the shop again to level 4. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I want to get another football player. My guys are gonna, are gonna end up starving from this for absolute sure, but you know what? Anything to enable Hungering Fury here. Because I want to see what that actually does. Oh god, this might be bad. This might actually be bad. Hey, your humans are hungry. I know. You can move around without food for a while, but hungry humans are lousy fighters. Humans eat each time they move to a different room. The more humans you have, the more they eat. If you run out of food, you can produce some yourself by sending a couple of humans over there to the sacrificial pit. Fuel is fuel, meat is meat. Is that right? Now off you go. Okay, well, I mean, what other unit can I get rid of that's not particularly useful to me? I mean, I don't know. Oh, Diamond Baggins, are you also related? You're in the same family? I mean, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if you have been useful to me at all. Uh, yeah, uh, Mikulik47. <laughs> have you honestly been that useful to me so far? I don't feel like you have. I want to see what exactly the Sacrificial Pit does, though. I am kind of curious, so go into the pit. I mean, you just die instantly, and it converts you into food, god. Yeah, that's, uh, that is definitely what I call disturbing. Um, okay, well, I mean, 16. I can just go back in there just to get a little bit more food for the time being. Sure. I guess that was, that was something that I could have done as well, but, okay, well, I guess in that case, we're gonna go to the boss now? Sure. And let's, let's try Hungering Fury. Try out Hungering Fury to see if we actually get more attack speed from this. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna place all of my level 3 units, or all of my higher level units towards the boss, maybe. And assuming that Hungering Fury is in effect right now, we're just gonna see what happens. Good Lord, that's a giant drone. He has a giant laser beam. I, wow, I don't trust that in this Wait, actually, hang on a second. This guy is, this dude right here is getting hit by it multiple times and he's barely taking damage from it. What the frick? Okay, well, I mean, he's dead. None of my units died. What? <laughs> okay, we have mass, heal, and teleport. Teleports you to a random room on the level. Restores 30% of maximum health to all units. I kind of feel like I need this more than anything else. Need to use one of your old buttons before you can get a new one. 
Get rid of Destroyer, then in that case. It does actually seem like this is one-time use only. Okay, fine. Give me my mass heal, please. I don't really feel like I had a use for Destroyer to begin with, so frick it. Frick it. Let's just keep going down. Keep going down. Down even further. The Structure. The humans come across a strange tall structure with two giant balls at the base. Really, two giant balls specifically. That is interesting. <laughs> the small door is suspiciously open. Let Pavel check it out. Let Pavel and Dimon check it out together. Screw this. Let the whole lot of us barge in. I think... I don't know. That's probably gonna get us killed, honestly. I feel like that could potentially get a bunch of us killed. I don't know. I mean, Pavel... Pavel has the... Has the shooter, right? He has whatever this is called. He has the ray gun. Send him in. He has a way of defending himself. Frick him. Pavel comes back in a pensive mood, but without any useful findings. Okay, well, you are not useful to us in the slightest, dude. Frick right off, then, in that case. Okay, 2-2... God, it gives you 600 health. Wait, there's a gravity gun. Oh, speaking of Half-Life, there is quite literally a gravity gun in this game. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm too curious. I'm actually way too curious. I'm gonna give you a gravity gun. Okay, I was kind of expecting him to turn into Gordon Freeman, but I, I guess not. I guess just being naked while wearing sunglasses is even cooler. Also, Anna Musk. Are you related to Elon Musk by any chance? Because I sure bloody hope not, honestly. <laughs> okay, okay, where the frick do we go? Let's go to the left, because that's the only place where we can move right now. Who do we got? God, two giant bosses right off the bat? Okay, well, uh, put Gravity Boy in front, the Gravity Gun dude. Or I guess Gravity Girl, because her name is Anna. Seems like they're getting a lot of buffs right now, actually. Mutation, Hungering Fury. Oh, they all do have Hungering Fury. Okay, this is a, a food shop, though. So when we kill these guys, then we're gonna get uh, the opportunity to buy more food. Also, 420. Nice. Freaking blaze it, boys and girls. Oh, giant, two giant shinobis. Why do you turn your heads around? Okay, you guys just charge right in. You just charge right in, no questions asked. Okay, well, there goes my, uh, my footballer. My footballer dude is just dead inside. Wait a second, did I construct a tower? I construct like a big tower right here? Wait, what is that? This this guy's not even moving at all. I don't even know if... Okay, well, you're dead. For sure. Okay, yeah, you are actually creating towers now. One of these guys are creating towers. Well, why were they not constructing those before? Maybe they were not high-leveled enough? I'm not quite sure. Give me this, because I desperately need that. Actually, just blow the rest of my, my stuff on food for now. I think I will actually just do that. There we go. 79 food. We at least won't run out for a little bit longer. There we go. There's three different places we can go to. I think I'm just gonna keep going left for now. I'm actually surprised at how long, uh... Oh my god, three bosses in a row. Oh, and 69 food. Double nice. I'm surprised that I've been able to survive for this long. I wasn't actually expecting this to go as well as it has been so far. It seems like my uh, healing units are at level 2 now. Oh god, I don't know how to pair any of these guys up anymore, honestly. Okay, well actually, should I put some of you guys in between my units? Like you guys over here? Hang on a second. Let me put you in between, perhaps. There we go. So you can heal them on the sides, I guess? I don't really know. Three giant robots. Oh, you have big claws as well. God, this fighter guy is just... Dude, I swear to god, man. Like... Who, who is this right here, exactly? Yeah, Anastasia is freaking fearless, dude. She just runs headfirst into every single enemy, and for whatever reason, she barely takes damage from most of them. What a freaking trooper, dude, taking one for the team. Um, god, what is that? That is literally a candle skull, that's what I was about to say. This is cultist ability? A pitchfork? There's a chainsaw here. Fencers? Okay, do I do I want a chainsaw person here? Fine. I'll give you a chainsaw, because I don't have enough tokens all of a sudden to buy anything else, so frick it, I'll give you this. Yep, he literally becomes uh, Jason Voorhees. Okay, well, Victoria Tarth. It's an interesting last name, Tarth. God, I really, I, I really don't even know where to go now, honestly. Go down, maybe? Let's just explore. Let's just go and explore the place. Two more bosses again. Put you out in front, perhaps. There we go. 
Do I really need to, to like, change my current strategy right now? I don't feel like I really have to. Because who, who are these bosses exactly? Oh, the big drones that shoot lasers. Oh, okay, well, I mean, Anastasia is kind of at the risk of dying now because she is actually kind of starting to run low on health. But, I mean, as long as I'm placing her next to the healing units, then hopefully, unless she's too far away from the healing units to actually be healed, I don't really know. I honestly don't know at all, but this seems to be another food shop down here, so maybe let's, let's go down here. Two big bosses again. Okay, well, in that case, how about... How would I push you guys down even further? Push you guys down, like, one unit further. And, I mean, this is all randomly generated anyway, so it's like... You have to adapt your strategy on the fly, it seems. Yeah, we're just fighting the same bosses again, though. Okay, construct the towers, so at least uh, fire electricity at them. It seems like these guys can only focus on one, one unit at a time, though, which is definitely helpful. Because it seems like... Yeah, they're not really... Yeah, it seems like they can't attack multiple units at a time, though. They can only attack one at a time. So that might be good for us. Yes, I am just getting more food. Good lord. I really need more. I think I have a sufficient enough amount of food that I don't really feel the need to, to move this past 100. Actually, frick that. I am gonna move this past 100. There we go. I'm gonna hold on to at least 10 of my tokens, okay? I think 100 food is way more than enough. Actually, did one of my healers die? I think they did. Oh, Diamond Baggins is gone. Oh, Dorothy Quack is gone, too. Yeah, Heavy Ball and First Aid Kit. Okay, so one of my healers did actually die, but I got the First Aid Kit back, though. Oh, no, I did actually get this Heavy Ball back. Okay, wait, do I have two of them now? No, I only have one. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. Just, just keep going for now. I have way more than enough food as it is, so try going in here. I'm not entirely sure where the frick the... Where exactly the... the exit is. It seems like this is just looping around, actually, so I might have to go back the other way. Three more bosses. Actually, wait a second. You you go in the back. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll put the mage in, in front this time. The shadow mage. The, the cultist mage this time. Just because the fighter is running a little bit low on health. Uh, three more big robots again. Yeah, you're you're making some towers now. Okay, somebody leveled up, actually. Somebody actually leveled up. I think it might have been... Oh no, it was actually Danny. You know, Danny really went from zero to hero throughout this entire run. Like, he started with no clothes whatsoever, no no weapon at all. As soon as I give him... what What is this called? The card full of secrets. Yeah, he's now my highest level unit. And he survived, like, this long. Holy frick, man. Okay, what do we have? Spirit ma- Oh, here we go. Stale pretzels. Yeah, you know what? Frick it. I'm doing this right now. I'm, I'm doing this. I don't even care. I want to see... People get attacked with some pretzels. There we go. Got a, got an angry chef here, just gonna lob some pretzels at you. I don't really want anything else at the moment, to be honest, so let's just, let's just go. Let's just keep on going. Just keep it going. I think I do need to go back up here for now. Yeah, let's try going, unless this is also just another dead end, but we'll see. We'll see exactly. Okay, this is actually not a dead end. This is not a dead end at all. Okay, why do we have five bosses... Why are there five of them? Okay, dude, you know what? You know what? Do I just keep going with what I'm using now? Maybe. Got a ninja. Got an angry chef throwing pretzels. Just go? Oh, because it's two different times. Oh, no, it's the it's garbage can tentacle man again. Garbage can tentacle man. Okay, well, um, let's just... Oh, frick, what happened to my cultist? Oh, they're getting pushed back. Okay, well, some of them are also leveling up. Wait, are they... They all survived? I guess so. Goodness. Anastasia is, is still alive as well. Okay, a bunch of my units got to level 4 now, actually. Chain Lightning? Thunderbolt becomes Chain Lightning, dealing damage to 5 additional targets. Each strike deals 50% damage of the previous one. Shooting tentacles? Summon tentacles have a range attack. Oh, we can fight people with tentacles ourselves. Evasion? Chain Lightning sounds like it could be fun. It really does sound like it could be fun, honestly. Okay, you know what? Freak this. I'm getting more attack speed right now because I want to. Let's go up this way. Let's go up, possibly. Okay, the boss room is over here, actually. Just three more... Okay, hang on a second. There we go. Three more bosses. I wonder what these bosses could be. It's just the big robots again. Man, it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of... Uh, variety in the enemy types in some of these rooms, I'm gonna be real with you. 
God, do we want more parts? One more pretzel, people? Oh, we have a turret though. Got a turret that we could use. Or do I just want to upgrade Excalibur? Uh, I don't know. Do I want to upgrade the shop again to see what other sorts of weapons we can get? I kind of want to. Oh my God, what is this? Stilts? Uh, how exactly would that be useful to us? I am not entirely sure, but at the same time, it sounds silly enough that I would be a fool to not try and use it, but I don't have anywhere near enough tokens right now, so let's just frick off right now. Just gonna frick off just for now, for the time being. Yeah, let's go in this room. I don't really want to fight the boss just yet, I'd like to see what's in this room specifically. Just two bosses again? Oh, there is another, uh, there is another food shop in the next room, though, so I might want to go pay that a visit, because I'm already running out of food again somehow. Yeah, let's get it. It's just the- okay, it's just firing the laser beams that set me on fire. Okay, Anastasia might be- might be dead here. Is she dead? No, she's actually not dead yet, holy frick, man. Okay, restore 30% of maximum health to all units. I probably should just use this now, because I really don't want Anastasia to die just yet. So, yeah, maybe just use that for now perhaps. Yes. And go to the, uh, food shop here. See what's in this room. Let's go and, uh, god, just two more bosses again. I don't know, I kind of feel like th th some of these rooms can be a little repetitive, but at the same time, though, if it's giving me the opportunity to get more food and other items, then I still appreciate it regardless. It's just that I kind of feel like I'm just fighting the same enemies over and over at the moment, so I don't know. I don't exactly know how I feel about this. There we go, just get, just get some more. Get some more. There we go. Actually, I can just I can just waste all of my all of my stuff on food here cuz I still have 10 left over. Maybe just use the heal one last time here. It seems like Kira <laughs> Kira Hentai actually took quite a bit of damage there. I mean, I don't know. Do I just want to go straight to the boss right now? I'm not really sure. Because, I mean, I've already been playing this for a fairly long time, and I'm not entirely sure if I want to, like, see how far I can get before I die, or if I want to actually just maybe end the video after I complete this level, and maybe try to go to the Brawl and King of the Hill modes just to check those out. Because I would still like to check those out uh, before the end of the video here, before I end the video off. So you know what? Maybe I am going to go to the boss immediately just to see what they're all about. Okay, this is a big boss. Well, well, was the was the icon for that big before? I actually don't remember. I don't actually recall. You know what, frick it, I'm just gonna send you into battle. Okay, well, um, that is literally a uh, Cthulhu mashed together with a robot. Oh, he has punching gloves. Okay, um, oh wow, he actually is, like, punching them back. Yeah, he's knocking them back, but I mean... Still taking a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage, actually. Got a tower set up. God, Jason Voorhees is getting all of the all all the punches right here, or he's taking all the punches, but I mean he survived. Vanquisher of Robots, achievement unlocked. I don't believe any of my units died either. I forgot to close that earlier, I think. Soul food? Disables hunger for the next fight? Or teleport? I might want soul food instead. Soul food! Why am I pronouncing it like that? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that would be more useful to me. Okay, well, that was stage four, I think. So now where are we at now? This is level five, I think. You meet a ninja in a blue suit. He can't remember how to shoot ice projectiles. Press the X key on your keyboard. Ha! The ninja walks away, lost in thought. And so shall we. What, what was even the point of that? I have no idea. This is just getting weird now. Okay, throw tuna at people. Oh, paddle ball as well. I'm guessing we're hitting them with the yo-yo. <laughs> God, what are these what are these items, dude? Yeah, this is level 5. I don't know how much longer this is going to go, honestly. I I would kind of like to maybe just stop right here for now and just uh maybe go to the next uh the next mode or try to check out like brawl mode or I, I think I actually did just unlock brawl mode for the the default game mode though because it told me I had to beat four levels, right? And we are at level five, actually, so I should have that unlocked by now. But hang on a second. How about... We do this. I'm getting some tuna. <laughs> I want to see you, uh, like, slap some people with some dead tuna, or you throw it at people, because I don't, I don't exactly know which one you're going to do. <laughs> Let's just try, like, maybe one level here, just to see what the layout of this looks like. Yeah, there's just gates everywhere, is there? Okay, just two bosses. Well, just move everyone up then. 
move everyone up then in that case. I gotta be careful with my right-clicking here because they are very close to that, uh, yeah, to that pit tile. Yeah, I can't move them up any higher though, so who are these bosses? Wait, that's, that's a new enemy actually. Uh, oh, Victoria died. Oh, frick. Okay. Oh god, actually, Anastasia died as well. Oh god, are they actually doing a lot of damage to us now? Oh, frick, it seems like they are. Oh no, Danny Cooper fell. Oh no. Danny fell in battle. Frick. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. <laughs> Got a giant heap of meat by 120 food? I'll just take it immediately, because why not? Okay, actually, I don't know if this might possibly be the end of the line for us, because, I mean, those guys did a lot of damage to us, so I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know about this, actually, all of a sudden. I'm unsure about this all of a sudden. Well, okay, dead ostriches? Unalive, undead ostriches. Oh god, yeah, these guys are actually doing a lot of damage to us now all of a sudden. Oh wait, no, he, he unmounted and he's now hitting me with more tuna of his own, I think. Dead tuna. Oh god, why are they blowing up all, all, all so much? All so much? Wait, my pretzel chef is at level 3 now. You know what? Let's 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 just do this here. We get 5 more humans and we just I I may as well just try to use some of these items on them, honestly. Like all the items that I have saved up here, like I can turn one of you guys back into a chainsaw. I can give you guys another spear. Give you a, some yoga pants to turn you into another fighter. Turn you into just a regular healer. I still have the crate full of secrets, actually. See, but the only issue now is that you're all back at level 1. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I can just keep making units over and over as long as I have the amount of tokens to be able to do it. God, two more bosses? Well... Okay, I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys. I really do just want to end the video now because I'm, I'm actually really surprised at how well this has been going for me. But... God, I don't, I don't know. Because what I would like to do right now is that I would kind of like to just go and check out the Brawl and King of the Hill modes, because I'm surprised that I even, like, uh, I even made it this far to begin with. Oh no, someone's actually throwing bombs. Someone is throwing bombs that are blowing up. Somewhere. For absolute sure. Yeah, okay, it seems like, I, I mean, it seems like even in great numbers... Like, like, in great numbers, we're actually still pretty powerful here. I mean, I don't exactly know where the boss is located, but up here? Okay, no, this is actually a dead end. Wait, just, just, uh, three normal enemies? Okay, just three normal enemies, apparently. I need to really, like, heal this guy here. I really need to heal my pretzel chef here. Uh, well, I mean, you guys have sickles. Oh, no, you guys still fire, uh, fire projectiles at me. Okay, well, Kira Hentai is gone, and so is Marina the Elusive. Is that what my my other cultist was called? Apparently. Okay, well, you guys still all leveled up regardless, or a, a lot of you did. I guess go to the left? Over here? Oh no, this is a dead end as well, actually. And just one giant boss in here. Okay, well, let's, let's see about this then. Let's see about this. I'm gonna place you guys up as high as I possibly can here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. And who bosses- oh no, this is a different boss. It's a giant pyramid with tentacles. Actually, did I see you in- in one of the- one of the, like, concept arts for this game? Or- oh god, actually, wait a second. You're kinda hard to defeat. Oh no. You're firing lasers out of your eyes and it's killing, like, everyone on my team. Dorothy the Rock. R related to Dwayne the Rock Johnson by any chance? I don't even know anymore. Oh no. All of my guys are dying. Okay, well, you're still dead regardless, but... Oh no. That actually took out most of my team. Um, tanks, shooting tentacles... Or... or, 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 or. What the frick is this name? Once every 20 fighters increase their... Once every 20 seconds, fighters increase their attack speed by 100 for 5 seconds. I think all my fighters are dead now. I'm pretty sure they are. Can I get a free reroll on this? Tanks... Fast reload. All ability cooldowns are 1.11 times shorter. Wait, anti-gravitational strike has a 20% chance of powerfully knocking back smaller enemies when attacking. I mean, can we try to get some knockback of our own, perhaps? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm actually about to die here, but... God, I wasn't expecting, uh, Pyramid Cyclops with tentacles to just come and annihilate all of my units. I was actually not expecting him to be that powerful, but... God, because, I mean, he was just one guy, but holy crap, dude. And, I mean, I, I don't think I can get more units right now, right? Because I have to go, I have to actually go into a different room and fight the people in here in order to get more more stuff. Okay, well, there's only four people in here. 
but still, they might be relatively deadly towards me. So you know what? Gravity gun, you go and take care of this person over here. I think I'm actually fricked, for the most part. I do believe that I am actually fricked all of a sudden. Oh god, I made a mistake. Oh god, I made a mistake. My chef is about to die. Alright, well, you just got freaking decapitated, dude. Holy crap. Yeah, nobody's even... God, nobody's even going towards uh, Nikolay over here. Okay, never mind. I should not have said anything, because now they're targeting him. Okay, well, we're done. Dream's dead. And so is all of our units. Wait, let's backstep a bit and imagine you're not losing all your puny humans, although it's not like you have a chance to get far anyway. Okay, so Deja Vu is activating automatically. So wait, is it... Did I get all my all of my stuff back? Okay, press X. Oh wow, yeah, we actually it reset the entire room. So we're we're actually we have our units back all of a sudden. Okay, so that's what deja vu does. Okay, but I guess I could have also triggered that manually at any time, because it was binded to the one key, so I mean. Okay, well, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think I'm actually gonna consider that a loss anyway, because I don't really want to continue playing this for now. Maybe I could try to continue this off screen, but I just wasn't expecting this run to go so well. That's the thing. I wasn't expecting this run to go as well as it did, so I don't know. I, I think I'm still going to count that as a loss because I really want to check out the other game modes that are available here, like Brawl and King of the Hill. So is it possible... Wait, I can, I can actually enter King of the Hill from this from this screen? Okay, I wonder I wonder why I can do that. Hang on. Can I go to the main menu? Okay, so I can just continue this at any time. All right, well in that case, that's what I'm going to do. Deja Vu actually saved me there because yeah, I guess Deja Vu gives you like an additional an additional life whenever you lose all your all your units. But I want to see what Brawl is. You have an unfinished session. If you start a new game, you won't be able to continue the previous one. Oh, this is a different kind of game. Oh, wait a second. What about King of the Hill? Okay, no, King of the Hill is is not... Uh, King of the Hill doesn't require me to make a new save. I don't think. Okay, so so wait, what is what is what is this exactly? I don't exactly know what this is though. This leader, what is this leaderboard exactly? Was King of the Hill? Completed the campaign in hard mode. Oh, old timer fought in the demo. I see. Played in the Master League for two seasons. Okay, well, what actually is King of the Hill? You know what? I'm just gonna experiment now. I don't even care anymore. Oh, wait a second. Maybe King of the Hill is actually like the. Oh, maybe King of the Hill is quite literally just the leaderboards. Maybe that's what that is. Is that all that it is? Maybe it's just the leaderboards? But I guess I don't, uh, I don't actually get added to the leaderboard until I complete the campaign. Okay. Well... <laughs> okay, you know what? I just stopped caring at this point. Can I actually go and try a new game here? What actually is this? PvP for every three rooms. Yeah, and I guess I already have this unlocked, actually. Because I, uh, I completed four levels. Yeah, I keep I forgot that I only can I can only play the easy mode if I lose three times actually. But uh yeah, defeat the final boss. I I mean, I'm not sure if stage 5 was like the final the final stage in the game. I have no idea, but Oh wait, I did unlock the sports people uh starter pack, I guess. Okay, so wait a second. Player versus player every three rooms. Okay, well, I'm curious as to what this is then. It seems like I still unlocked something, even though I restarted the game. You're probably thinking, oh no, not another tutorial, aren't you? Relax, it's all incredibly simple. You have three lives, you must beat the other players, and no saves are allowed. Understood? No? Doesn't matter. Go right, you'll figure it out when you get there. Okay, I'm actually very curious as to what this is. Every three rooms you fight players? So is this like the asynchronous multiplayer component here? I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Dorothy Farrah Fowler. Okay, I, th I think these are all just like... I think these last names are meant to be pop culture references. They're very clearly pop culture references. They have to be. Okay, well, let's just let's just see about this here very quickly. God, these, these silly drones. Silly drones, get out of my face, please. Oh, wow, we got a bunch of mutations already. Uh, Fencers receives 30%. Tanks heal themselves. 
Cultist? Well, I have sports people here, though, so could I have something for them, maybe? Well, I mean, there is final gift, but one more reroll. Well, I mean, this guy is technically a thrower, though, right? Victoria the Deadeye? Okay, well then, we'll get the Blitz for now, then. Get Blitz for now, and maybe that can, that can power her up? Possibly? Potentially? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see about it. Yeah, health- maybe just get the health bonus for now. I don't know if I really need the mana bonus. Do I? No, because I don't have mana users right now. Okay, I guess King of the Hill is not like a, like an actual mode. I'm, I'm guessing maybe that King of the Hill is literally just the leaderboards. Maybe that's what the leaderboards are, ca are called here. Oh, individual units cost three tokens now. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, wait. Give one of you a spear. And I can still give one of you the fighting gloves, actually. Okay, so l let's just do this then in that case. Hang on a second. Okay, so is this gonna be like, uh, is- are, are we fighting an another actual player? Versus Space Ghost? Okay, yeah, I guess we are. This is like asynchronous multiplayer, essentially. Okay, well, we'll see how exactly this goes then. I guess this game does actually have an asynchronous multiplayer component. I mean, I guess I'm not too surprised, considering it is an auto-battler after all, but okay. I'm gonna only do one battle with this just to see how it goes, just for just for the record. Because I'm not gonna try to play the entire game like this, and I don't even know what units they're using here exactly. Oh yeah, they have other humans. Yeah, Blue Ghost, okay, Alex Tyson- wait, all of my guys are- what the fr- oh, you- hang on a minute. Hold up a minute. Why do you already have a charmed ring? Okay, well... Oh, because we didn't actually die because we have three lives. That's right. Despot gave them to you and he will take them away one for every time another player defeats you. Try to hang in there as long as possible. Okay, but that guy- that guy received a charmed ring, like, immediately. Like, what- what else was- what was I supposed to do about that? I don't know, final gift. Good- good lord. Okay, so I guess the idea here is to just keep leveling up your units so that they're powerful enough that they can take on, uh other players' armies. I don't know, this is kind of, this is kind of just reminding me of Super Auto Pets again, because I actually did have some instances when I played Super Auto Pets where literally the first team I come across has units that are already so powerful that they just end me instantly. Okay, well that's all I really wanted to know in regards to this particular game mode. It does actually seem like this is basically an asynchronous multiplayer mode, where you fight against other, uh, yeah, other- other players' armies, essentially. But I don't believe the players themselves are actually battling you in real time, so I think that's- that's like the major difference. So it's basically like Super Auto Pets in that regard. You know what, let me just get spiky armor here. I don't know, we could try to do like maybe one more battle here. One more asynchronous multiplayer battle. But then after that, I think I am actually ending this video. Yeah, and I guess in this mode, all of the maps have very specific, uh, layouts because you're just constantly running to the right in this one, it seems. But I'm assuming that the enemies that you're battling are still randomly generated. Possibly? Are they still randomized? Maybe they are. I'm just battling this dude again. We've seen this guy before. There we go, he's done. Here, can I- can I equip you guys with all sorts of different things? Yeah, okay, I actually do get a charmed ring right here. Okay, very nice. Reroll this again. Okay, maybe- maybe this time we can actually get a cultist, another cultist back. And then get another, maybe get another unit and give them a sword, because I don't think I have a sword person on me right now. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second, we can, we can do some real damage here and just have one, one human that just does nothing. Or I guess just does not have a weapon at all. Willy. Well, well, that certainly seems like an appropriate name to have, considering you're naked. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess we don't have hunger here either. Yeah, we don't have hunger. Your current result, zero victories. Whoever reaches 10 victories is a champ. We won't prevent you from getting more, though. Okay, so it's like Super Auto Pets. You have to get 10 victories in a row, essentially. And you have a limited number of lives, which Super Auto Pets also has, versus Mr. Teeny. Oh god, okay, wait a minute, hang on. I only have two units that are actually level two right now. I'm kind of wondering if I should put them out in front, like right down here. I mean, I don't even- I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. I am quite literally just putting units down willy-nilly and just hoping for the best, pretty much, because I don't really know what I'm even doing at this point. Let's- who, do, who does this person have? Oh, I'm finding a drone as well. Okay, well, the drone just died immediately. Okay, well, what is- what is this gonna look like exactly? Am I actually doing some damage to people? It seems... like it? 
Okay, yeah, actually, wait. Wait a second. I think I'm killing them. I think we're actually going to kill them. There we go. We win. Very nice. And all of my units did respawn. Okay, so I actually do get my units back as well. If I do end up winning the battle. So they're not dead for forever. Okay. So as long as I can just keep winning battles and not losing more lives, then I can just keep building my army outwards even more. Unless, of course, they get killed by the enemies themselves, but... Gotta try and prevent that from happening as best as we possibly can. All units blow up upon death, dealing 40 magic damage to all enemies nearby. Egghead's towers give 100 mana to all allies, and what is this, panic? When approached by an enemy, newbies are inflicted with fear and flee, making enemies attack them. Why in the freak would I want that? Give me more power for my towers. Tower power. Well, I mean, I don't really know why I'm even doing this to begin with, because I am, I am going to end this video now, I think, so... Do we just continue? Oh no, we can actually continue. Okay, well, I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna do for now. I have been recording for about two hours, and my throat is starting to hurt now, and I think I've pretty much seen everything that I've wanted to see in this video, so I think... Or in this game, I should say. So I think we are actually going to end this here. Yeah, I've seen enough for now. I wanted to at least check out what that brawl mode was. And yeah, my suspicions were pretty much confirmed about the brawl mode. It is quite literally asynchronous multiplayer. Very similar to Super Auto Pets in the sense that you have... Yeah, limited number of lives. Your units get revived if they end up dying. I guess regardless of whether or not you lose the battle or win it. And much like Super Auto Pets, you're actually trying to win 10 matches in a row. Yeah, so they weren't lying about that. You can actually battle other people's armies in this game. But I guess you can't actually encounter them in the, the default campaign mode of the game. But... Yeah, I, I just wanted to try that out quickly just to confirm my suspicions about that mode. But I guess King of the Hill is not actually a game mode, it's literally just the game's leaderboards. Yeah, so I mean, that's that's Despot's game. That was another little uh, roguelike auto-battler, interesting little roguelike auto-battler that I wanted to show you guys today. Definitely seems like the game can become super chaotic the more units that you place down on the map. But it does seem like you have to keep them well-nourished at all times, though, because... Yeah, having, having more units on your team is not always a good thing necessarily, because it seems like each individual unit uses up food. So if you have more units on your team, then you're gonna end up consuming a lot more fluid a lot more quickly. So you have to maintain a delicate balancing act throughout the entire game. You can get more units to cause more damage, but you also risk starving your entire army to death, because if you add more units into your army, they're gonna consume food a lot more quickly. So creating as many humans as possible for your army is not exactly a good strategy in this game. So it really does seem like you still need to think strategically to some degree, and I mean, I do at least like that you can still place your units down on whichever tile you want, which I mean, Super Auto Pets does not necessarily allow you to do, because I mean, you can rearrange your units in that game, like put them out in front of each other, but because Super Auto Pets is fully in 2D and not like isometric 2.5D like Despot's game is, you don't have as much freedom to place your units wherever you want. And I mean, totally accurate battle simulator, you have extreme freedom over where you can place your units in that game because the game is fully in 3D. And the grids are not tile-based whatsoever, so you can place your units literally anywhere you want on your side of the field. So Despot's game definitely feels a lot more tactical in that regard. It's almost like a, like a tactical roguelike auto battler. All of the rooms are separated into grids that are comprised of different tiles, and you have to figure out, like, which tiles you want to place all your units down on. I mean, this is not the first tactical roguelike that I would have covered on the channel, because I did do a video on Bad North a few years ago, but I haven't played an auto-battler before that was done in a tactical roguelike style, so... This still felt kind of like a unique experience for me, at least. And it's still pretty fun for what it is, but part of me does wish that there was maybe a little bit more variety in the sorts of enemy types that you can encounter in the single-player mode. Because it kind of felt after a while like I was just sort of fighting the exact same enemies over and over again. At least until I got to level 5, because everyone in that level just completely annihilated my ass instantly. <laughs> I feel like it would probably be a lot more fun to just pit your own armies up against other people's armies that they've created. Because I feel like that would be significantly more unpredictable. But yeah, it was still a pretty neat little auto-battler overall. 
channel, and I did want to try and play another auto-battler on the channel for a while, so... There you go. That was an interesting little game for sure, and if you want to go and purchase it, the link is in the description. It costs about $15 right now. Again, I'm not entirely sure if the price is going to increase when the game leaves early access, because it will be leaving early access next month. So I guess buy it now, just in case the price does increase within the next month or so. I do believe this game is going to be coming to other platforms later on. I think there is actually an Xbox One version of the game that is currently available, although I think the Xbox One version that is available right now is actually just a demo, but I can still link you guys to that version of the game, and I'm not entirely sure if this game is going to be coming to other platforms. I did go to the game's official website to see what other platforms it was available on, and I did notice that there were PlayStation and Nintendo Switch logos on the homepage for the game, but they were not actually selectable, which does make me think that the game might be ported to PlayStation and Nintendo platforms in the future, like maybe when it comes out in full in September. So if this game does end up getting ported to other platforms, I will come back and update the description of this video with the links to those separate platforms. But for now, if you want to check out the game on PC and Xbox One, those links will be provided in the description. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!